me again. I just need to adjust this because it's at a funny angle. Oh, there you go. Right, okay, next tree. Uh, for those that are doing the uh, forest schools with me, your identification of trees is really important and you need to learn this. So the next one is the hazel. Okay, now the hazel is very distinctive because it has a very distinctive leaf. Um, but if it was winter and none of the leaves were on because it's a deciduous tree, uh, you would need to know just by looking. Sometimes we test you in the winter. So this tree, okay, the hazel. Now, really, really good way of actually um, identifying it is multi-stemmed. Okay, by that I mean there is not just one single trunk that comes up like an oak. Um, it's multi-stem. So if, if I have a look behind me here, this, can you see? All of those, all of those are coming from the same plant. Okay, so this is multi-stem. So there's there's hundreds, well not hundreds, but there's probably about 25 stems coming up from this one plant. Okay, um, so they're all coming in from there. Can you see? Yeah? Okay, so multi-stemmed. Okay, the next thing is obviously the bark. Okay, now, um, the bark, as it gets bigger and bigger, it slightly changes because it slightly cracks, but that shouldn't put you off, okay? It should be able to identify it. So, um, if I go in closer, the bark actually is quite, it's to look at, oh, it's a bit of a leaf in the way there. To look at is actually quite smooth, um, but, the, but when you touch it, it's got kind of a, a slight roughness to it. Okay, the younger stems, the younger stems are really smooth, they're gorgeous, but when you get a really older one, so I'm going to show you two, okay, so just so that you know, the younger stems, they are really, really silky smooth. This is a young stem, and if you rub your fingers up and down, it is quite silky smooth, but if you look at the patterning, it's almost a little bit, a little bit like um, camouflage, if you like, it's kind of mottled, it's got a mottled effect, but the older it gets, the more gnarly it gets, so this is an older stem, you see the difference you've got these bits that are peeling off so you've got these bits but these bits obviously are just where it's growing so it gives it a real rough a rougher kind of feel to it but again if you look you can see that it's got a slightly camouflage look okay um kind of silvery nice it's a silvery kind of look um and it has dots on sometimes mainly you can identify it from the um obviously from the multi stems but also the leaf so here's the leaf isn't that gorgeous it's huge so oaks always sorry no, oh, not oaks doing the, the hazel hazel's leaves always have that point on the end yeah okay so look for the point but it's quite a lovely oval shaped leaf with that point on the end so that's that's the hazel, and this is really good. They use this for coppicing. It was actually a really important part of the um, agriculture and sustainability um, of farm workers, because this is really good for um, making stuff out of, because it bends quite well. So you can make um, fences and all kinds of different things out of this. Um, but it was also used to make charcoal. So you get quite a lot of um, the English, the British um, original charcoal was actually made from this humble hazel um, and you can coppice it so you can cut it down not completely so if you go into a coppicing uh, forest they actually harvest um, the hazel um, in rotation to allow the tree to come back again and actually in that way um, foresters um, that used to work in the forest could make a living um, so they actually had a continuous growth of, growth of hazel um, and they used to make it into charcoal and actually charcoal made from hazel is one of the best drawing charcoals that you can get little fact for you there okay so hazel learn go out look at the leaves uh, especially in the spring summer and autumn autumn they will come off um, but just look at the multi stem as well and then you can see that you're starting to build up your knowledge of iding trees have a great day